Well, I finally got out to the rifle range. For some odd reason at the club, this is the least crowded area. It's getting hot down here, down south. I was out in the sun in the pistol pits. I was getting a little overheated, but down here under the overhead, and nice breeze, it's all right. I got my super special AR build that I made. Solid frame, upper receiver, got all Magpul buttstock and hand guards, all the new stuff. And I forget, I put a heavy barrel, chrome line, 1 and 9 twitch, uh, 16 inch barrel in there. So I, I built this during my building frenzy last year, ARs. And I really haven't shot it much. Uh, and what I'm doing today, I'm out here at 100 yards, I just got some time. And I want to test out that Guardian ammo from Turkey. This stuff here that the Turks make, they've been selling it online. I, I bought a few hundred rounds of it to give it a try. It's brass case, reloadable. But I found that no matter what, I don't know if it was this gun or not, Lake City, the GI ammo shoots more accurately than all of them. I think I tried testing them out. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. But we're just going to bang a few rounds out, get some wear to the gun, and see how it does. Right, 100 yards. Okay. Well, can't complain. You're in the black and eh, even though I'm not settled in and shifting. I'm hitting the target at 100 yards, and I was wondering, I don't know whether I want to walk all the way out to 200 or not. That's right. We'll see. I'll run another few rounds of this and then, uh, Maybe I'll run some Wolf steel case side by side just to see if there's much of a difference accuracy wise. Now I got the time and I'm out here. Oh. Still uh, paying a little more for the barrel, might be worth it. Um, it's a Delton, that's right, it's a Delton barrel I bought. The heavy weight, it's like one inch thick here, and kind of goes a three quarter the rest of the way. And chrome line, one and nine twist, it's a pretty accurate barrel. Well worth the money, I guess, compared to, compared to the generic ones you get with uh, different kits, especially the ones from um, Palmetto State Armory. I mean, they shoot well, they're accurate enough, but this barrel is a bit more accurate than your basic barrel. Okay, now I'm going to run some uh, the Wolf steel case, 55 grainers, see if there's any difference. 
I mean, you got the price. You can get a case of this stuff and get it for about five dollars a box. Uh, you know, as long as you clean your gun, it won't do you no harm. But let's see. Well, it is a nice day out here, and I got some time, and so you guys talk me into it. I'm gonna go. We'll go take a look at the 100-yard targets on the way down, and I'm gonna run some at 200 yards. It's easy to hit at 100. Now we're gonna see if we can right. Okay, that's the Guardian at 100 yards. As you see, not too bad. And I was fidgeting around and. Trying to get used to it and that. And then I put a bunch of these right in here at the second salvo or so. These all here were from the first thing. And the wolf ammo, wolf ammo, uh, excuse me, I can't hardly see, isn't too bad. I mean, a little to the, to the left, okay, it might have something to do with the bullet or the load, but still groups pretty good, so. For what it is, cheap blasting ammo, you can't complain. I'm sorry, I just can't, I really can't see the screen with the sunlight, but uh, hopefully that's a good idea. So that's the Wolf at 100 yards, which isn't too shabby for a $5 box of ammo. And this here's the Guardian, and that's, that's also, that's a 62 grain bullet and the other one's a 55, so a little difference in the bullet. All right, now we're gonna give it a shot at two. Okay, we got him out there at 200. It was an interesting walk. Got my cardio in for the day, so that'll make my cardiologist happy when I go see him next month. All right, so now we're gonna go 200. Gonna use the wolf. Now I know at 100, I was a little to the left, so I'm gonna aim on center, slightly to the right. Fire a couple rounds, check on a spot and scope and see to see if I gotta adjust my elevation. <clears throat> I ain't really gonna monkey with the windage much because I wanna run the Guardian. I'll get it close with the Wolf and then, then I'll fine tune it with the Guardian to see if the, uh, the windage has to be adjusted. I kinda like the 62 grain bullet anyway, that's the military, but. 55 grain stuff is pretty cheap. It's all right. It's target shooting, so let's get started. Check it. Okay, I didn't see nothing, <clears throat> so I gave it two clicks up. You know, I figure this is flat shooting enough that it should be hitting. But then again, with iron sights, any little variance can put you off. see looks like I got one hole on there pretty high 
So I'm going to go with a six o'clock hold with this elevation adjustment and stay right on center. Let me check the scope. All right, it was on center and high. So I took the clip down. Gonna put four in there now we're on the paper. We know where we are, got an idea what we're doing. I'm gonna try to hit the black. I don't know if it's these light bullets, pretty flat shooting. It's really not much difference between 100 and 200 yards. And I don't know if the 62 grain bullet's gonna have more of a drop to it or not. Yeah, that's why, but that's what we're doing. We're experimenting. See if I can get some in the black. I got one in the black, one kind of low. So now it's a matter of your sight picture, repeating it, and getting it to where you want, you know, you touch the black dot, or you just leave a little fine little gap, it'll make a difference, a couple inches, 200 yards. And you just tune it in, check with your spotting scope, try to repeat over and over again. But we're on the paper, we're hitting the, the black of the ring at 200, which is pretty good. Now I'm going to do the rest of this box and then we're going to move on to the Guardian ammo. Alright, now we're going back to the Guardian ammo. The Guardian ammo is 62 grain, the SS-109 bullet. It's military grade ammo or style where the Wolf was a 55 grain. Uh, once I got it sighted in and knew where the gun shooting, I will go down and look. I did a good job on it. Now, this one here, I fired two. And again, we extrapolate from what we did at 100 yards. We knew at 100 yards, this Guardian ammo was on center. And we knew at 100 yards, the wolf, because maybe the different weight, size of the bullet or charge, was shooting a bit to the left. So at 200 yards, I just would have that sight post a little to the right of the dot. And I clobbered. Now this one here I did, I let the barrel cool off, got stuff packed up, let the gun cool down. I lobbed two of these down, just to see. And again, no change in elevation, we're on about a six o'clock hold on center. Got one in the black, one went a little high. And the problem is that any variance with iron sights at 200 yards, you know, the least little thing is going to move inches down at 200. And the farther you go, the, you know, the bigger the variance. So we got it in, let it cool off. Now we're going to run some. Uh, the 62 grain Guardian ammo. And like I said, I think when I ran all three of them side by side, the Lake City ammo, the 62 grain green tip stuff, was more accurate than this. And but I think the best you can get it for is about 45 cents a round, you know. And you gotta buy thousands of rounds, so it isn't cheap. But it looks like the US military ammo is still the most accurate out of the box unless you reload for this you know and that's a whole different ball game
All right, I'm going to take a look with the scope. Okay, it seems to be shooting high. I had one get a little wild on me, it could have slipped. Uh, but there's going to be no change to the elevation. I may have to change my sight picture a little. Get it kind of in there. just a matter of trial and error. I got a couple boxes. So I'm just going to fool with it and then we'll go down and take a look at what we did at 200 yards. Okay. Let's see if I got the camera running. Yeah. Now that's our Wolf 55 grain ammo at 200 yards. Outstanding. Okay. Um, once I got figured out where it was, or some up high, and I figured out where I was, and aiming slightly to the right, I clobbered that target. Okay, that's that's great for for the ammo and what it cost, what it is. Uh, you know, made my day with this one. Now we went to the 62 grain ammo, and the Guardian ammo. I had a hell of a lot of problems, as you see, it's all over. Either that barrel doesn't like that 62 grain bullet, it looks like a shotgun pattern. Uh, guns are funny, and then two or three of them bullseyes were the first five rounds. And it's like one box I was shooting to the left, and I opened up another box, aimed to the right, and I was hitting all in the right. It was driving me crazy. It could be it just don't like the bullet. Uh, now, if you take these rifles also and load like I loaded just a soft point 55 grain Hornady in a 223, and the accuracy was phenomenal. Okay, uh, you kind of got to see what your gun likes. Now, obviously, that rifle does not like a Guardian ammo. I'm going to see if I can get some. Uh, Either Lake City, a box or two at a gun show this weekend, and maybe some wolf in the 62 grain instead of the 55. But yeah, that, that didn't do good. But that gives us some other stuff to try and another video to make.